I lean out on my own understanding My life is in the hands of the maker of heaven I lean out on my own understanding My life is in the hands of the maker of heaven I lean out I do believe with all of my heart that Bethany has a future. I believe that Bethany has a future here in Scotland. When I think about what's going on right now with Bethany, um, I think I share the same sentiment as a lot of people here, which is that our heart breaks. The kind of atmosphere um, that Bethany has produced, not only for me, but for many people on this campus, has been really profound. Um, I don't even think I realized it until after I had graduated this past May. I believe that the, the people that Bethany University has turned out um, over the years has been phenomenal um, and we can say that a lot about a lot of you know Christian private schools um, but certainly in this area specifically within Santa Cruz um, the impact that even the students have on this population has been incredible and I've been able to witness that the past two years as I have done the grad program that you will bring redemption to Bethany, that you will turn the school around for your glory, God. We pray for revival, Lord, in this place, Jesus, that your name would be lifted high, God, that you would pour out your spirit, Jesus, that students on this campus would desire more of you, Lord, that this campus would go on for generations to come, Lord. Do you know who I am, says God? I am the God that was the courage in Esther when she went to the king to save a nation. I was a God who was the words for Moses when he said, let my people go to Pharaoh. I was the God who was the wind in that valley of dry bones and made them live again. I was a God that was with Peter when he walked on water. I was a God that sent his son. I was a God that sent my son to die for you. I was a God that sent my son to die for you. I was a fire, says God, that made this campus exist. And I am the fire that will keep it alive. It's not about the finances, says God. It's not about the money. But it is about, do you have the faith in me? This is a test. I want to see if you can rely on me and count on me and know that I am Jehovah Jireh. I am the provider. I am the prince of peace. I am Jehovah Nisi. I am Yahweh. I am the Alpha and the Omega. He has the last word. No man has the last word but God. God, God is saying, I'm going to do something great, but I need your hearts for me. I am done playing games. No more lukewarm people in this school. No more wayward people in this school. We're going to make a difference. But God says, will you trust me? Is this, are you guys ready? Will you trust me? Because I've got something great. But you need to learn how to trust in me first. This is not a financial situation. This is a situation of trust and the power of who God is. 
here because I believe that we're the new link, and I want to be that hand that reaches out to help you make that leap. Provide for a school so that you know your money is going to a new change. What is Forever Bethany? Forever Bethany, like the board said, is a dream. Forever Bethany is a change. Forever Bethany is a beginning. I mean, the moment I utter those words give me peace with letting go and forgetting about Bethany or letting go of Bethany, I break down because I'm full of so much conviction and knowing that it's not supposed to end there. I also believe that it's in his plan to resurrect the school and to bring it back, but the thing is, the school can never be the same. It can never be the same Bethany. It can never be the same functioning school. It can never be the same spiritually. It can never be the same in any way, shape, or form. It has to be completely brand new and God-breathed from beginning to end. That school has to be changed entirely, and I believe that God has that change waiting to be unleashed on that campus. But like you heard in the video, this is about trusting Him. And so, because of all this, I had this idea to come up with a video and spread it across the web, asking for people to donate to Bethany to save Bethany. As I began that video, I realized how much bigger this was than what I thought it was. See, when I thought about just making the video here, do it, and donate gifts straight to Bethany, then I was thinking, well, what if the school does shut down on July 7th? All that money is just going to go to pay off the debt, and not for what it was meant to, which is to keep the school open. Forever Bethany isn't a person, Forever Bethany isn't anything but its own foundation. And that money will go to rebuilding that school, no matter what or how long it takes. Continue to remember Noah and his ark. I mean, there had to be at points across that time thinking, this is crazy, no one's gonna believe that the earth is gonna be flooded. But he had to do it because God told him, Noah, build the ark. So for me, I think of Forever Bethany as an ark. And basically, people can go to any Wells Fargo all over if they believe in this vision that a change is coming for that school and can donate into that fund. That money is going to build that school. Either God's going to provide all the money from now to July 7th to save that school from permanently shutting down, or He's going to allow that school to shut down. But He's going to use Forever Bethany to buy the school and open it back up at some point. And Bethany will live. It's something new that's coming for that school and it's going to wash over like a flood. And the only way that that's going to happen is if believe, people believe in that vision and that dream and they catch it and run with it. With me. My ark is forever Bethany. I'm building my ark like Noah built his ark. And the ark is called Forever Bethany. And I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open. I will climb this mountain with my hands.